So welcome to this event, Transforming Food Systems Under Climate Change, Achieving Zero Emissions. Let me start by saying that I'm really, really happy to be here with all of you chairing this first session of today's event. I still remember back in 2018 when Bruce Campbell, sitting right here, here you have all the brains behind all this transformation initiative, he has started somehow, in a good way, contaminating the CCAF's people to get together with partners and develop an initiative to set an agenda on how food systems need to transform under climate change conditions. I remember that at that time I said, wow, Bruce, this looks like a titanic mission, but something that definitely needed to be done. Few years later, this is where we are. After millions of emails, thousands of conversations, many workshops, even a global science conference, we are here today to catalyze a transformation in food systems. How are we going to do this? Well, we're going to start by highlighting the case for transformation, and then we're going to discuss pathways and examples, very concrete examples, people that are already doing it, on how to transform food systems under climate change. As I mentioned, this Transforming Food Systems Under Climate Change initiative highlights 11 key actions for this transformation to happen. The key ones, the ones that need to be there. Today, we're going to discuss three of those actions. And if you are curious about the other eight actions, keep an eye on our future events, because we are going to be discussing all of them. But today we're going to concentrate on three of them. So those three key actions, first one is related to healthy and climate-friendly diets and how they can contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The second key action is in relation to food loss and waste. Where are the opportunities? Who is already doing it? What are the results of this? And the last key action is on how to drive social change for more sustainable decisions. So those are going to be the three key actions that we will be discussing today. As you all know, the realities of climate change are imposing on the planet a challenge of a new scale. In order to prevail, we'll have to do things differently. We'll have to think to produce, to live in a different way. In other words, we will need to transform. But what does transformation really mean? Let me use the following video to present what transformation means for different stakeholders and why this transformation is really needed. As global awareness of the agricultural drivers and impacts of climate change rises, all around the world, people are talking about how to transform our food systems. At a recent conference, we asked participants what transformation meant to them. Transformation is... Transformation is... Transformation is... Becoming something completely different. Radically changing the way that we do things. To make sure that we have a future. Transformation is about challenging the status quo. The shift in power. Of the process of moving to a food secure world. Transformation is thinking about the entire globe and how we can achieve change for everybody. Changing the way you do things to suit your current circumstances so that you can survive. This 
this is not the usual conference because we are facing not usual challenges. Right now, things are difficult. We have over 800 million people hungry. Food is being produced at the expense of the environment. We need to transform food systems because... The current food system is no longer sustainable. We need to transform food systems because currently the structures are mostly run by men for men. We need to transform food systems because they're screwed up. We cannot continue with the business as usual. If we continue doing business as usual, we're never going to be able to reach the sustainable development goals. The food system has to respond to the challenges of climate change. We have no other alternatives if we want to live longer in this planet. We need to think in terms of institutions. We need to think in terms of partnerships. New alliances. And the solutions can actually be new and innovative. We need to reconnect with food. I think youth are playing an important role. A lot of disruption is required. We need to mobilize public will. We need a grassroots movement. Include farmers. We need social safety nets. Uh, we need ways of reaching those that are unreached. In order to transform our food system, we need to harness the power that we already have in our hands. Now we are moving from climate smart agriculture, hopefully to climate smart food systems. Basically, we need to do it all and reach a tipping point where it's not a tipping point about climate, but a tipping point about social change. We need to unleash our imaginations and come up with amazing new solutions. We have a common responsibility for this planet. And it's not that hard to fix it if we get transformational change. So hopefully this video inspired all of you to become part of this transformation movement that starts right now and right here. And to tell you the truth, we couldn't have a better mix of participants to address and discuss this issue. Going all the way from policymakers, the funding community, private sector stakeholders, researchers, consumers. At the end of the day, we all eat, we are consumers, advocates, uh, promoters of policy change. We have the best ingredients today for having a successful recipe. So with that, let me tell you what we are going to do in the following 90 minutes. So first of all, we're going to have the privilege to listening to four very inspiring leaders. Coming from the research and funding community and also coming from the private sector. They will have the responsibility to set the scene for the panel that will happen after listening to their words. In this panel, we will have a youth representative and we will have two advocates for change, mostly for policy change. And we're going to discuss how consumers and social movements can foster this transformation in food systems. And of course, you, the audience, very important, will have a chance to present your views and to uh, start engaging in this conversation and in this discussion.